Loaded down and southbound, here we go. You know, Doug was saying, get yourself a gas stand Chevy. Man, I might have to send a picture of this setup into the radio station right now. We got six pellets of seed with one more field to plant, but every th the pellets of seed have been on discount. So I was like, okay, well, let's pick us up five more. So we got the Chevy, the K30 loaded down, and I picked us up. I picked myself up an old Kill Bros grain car. Shout out to Anthony on this one, too, because he's the one that gave it to me. I just got to say, if you guys end up enjoying the video, please help me out and smack that like button. Just give her a nice old slap, and she's good to go. Uh, but in all seriousness, thanks to everybody who does it. It definitely helps out the video, and thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting that like button. Really appreciate it. Especially with farming, because I'm going to be honest, farming's a lot tougher to get views on. You just got to have crazy stuff happen to you. But there's some plans. If you guys have been following last episode, we bought a 4755 and a 4955. I did not want to buy both of those, but we're going to keep one of them at least. And I've decided we're going to keep the 4955. Everybody told me to keep it, so that's the one I'm going to keep. The 4755 is going to be up for sale. Now this kid's... Dude, are we going to clear this? Oh, shoot, dude. Four, 14 feet, 9 inches. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we'll clear Dang. I got to be careful. We got to take it slow, especially for pulling this. It's a Kill Bros grain cart. Gosh dang, Chevy's handling it like a cherry pie in the hot summer sun. But right now, it's about early June, June 5th to be exact. So it's just, we're just getting to the start of summer. Corn's growing good. Everything's growing good. And actually, oh my gosh, June 5th, that's a tassel corn. It's insane. Grandpa always said if it was tassels by 4th of July, he was happy. There's a farmer just about there. Trip out. Mmm. I went sliding around this corner and I was going too fast in those front. We had so much weight on the back that I couldn't make this turn here. I felt so, I was so cocky there coming around that corner. I was like, heck, we made it. My gosh, dude. That's not good. The tire's off the ground. Holy crap, dude. Think about, I don't even want to jump on the truck to shut it off. You know, I think if I had this grain cart, nothing would have happened because we have so much weight on this grain cart that made those wheels pop off. Think about the physics at play, play right now. This grain cart, all this weight, is just wanting to push this truck down there. It's just like, literally, I can just feel the force of this grain cart push, pushing this back end of the truck down there while at the same time... Howdy, partner! What happened? Are, are you okay? <sighs> it's a mess. I was coming around here way too cocky, seeing along to Song of the South, boom. Front wheels just kind of lift off a little bit. I couldn't make that turn. I was like, oh, all we gotta do, turn the steering wheel. Tier steering wheel turns, but the truck doesn't turn. Truck goes straight down in here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I need a smoke. You got, you got a cigs on you? Yeah, I'm in here. Let me open up my front pocket. Here you go. <sighs> Dang. Thanks, man. You're, you're okay though, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just don't know how I'm okay. going to get this out of here. <laughs> um, man, I mean, I was literally just coming down here to plant this field, and I saw your truck in the ditch. I I might you have, got, a, you have a chain. I was going to say, if you have a chain, you have a hitch right on the front of this. That would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I I don't know if I have one at the shop. I can go look. We can, we can go take a look if you want. Yeah, if you could, that would be awesome. Is there a good place to connect to it here? Do well, you have a, anywhere I'm, in the I'm thinking what we do, I got to jump in this truck and shut this thing off. Actually, I don't want, it might be tough starting. That carburetor, that might be a little messy if she's on its side. So I think what I'll do is try to unhook, unhook this gravity wagon or grain cart and then kind of yeah. guide it down. And then we could hook you up from this angle and then try to pull my back end. Or, ah, I don't know. It'd almost be best if we could just get it from the front. But the, the back yeah. end's probably going to have to do. It's probably what we'll have to do. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. There he is. You got the chain with three daggers. Yep, I got the chain, and I figured I'd bring the uh, the bill spike as well, just wrapped it around it, you know. You sure this old case can pull her out? Or international? Well, uh, maybe. If not, I can get the uh, the deer. The deer's got more power. She should be fine. I think, I think she'll be fine. You'll be good. Down through the ditch. Is this your ground, actually? Yeah, I own this. Okay. Do you think you could back the tractor down, back it up, and then we can unhook uh, unhook this grain cart, hook it up mm -hmm. to your tractor, and pull it down through? 
I don't yes. know. If I don't know how we, but, can we block up the tires of the grain cart to stop it from moving. I don't know. I might do something. I mean, worth a try. I'd say block the tires and then we're not disconnecting it from your truck until literally the tractor is right there. So yep. if it does roll, it it's just, just goes maybe a couple tractor. inches and yeah. hits the tractor. Yeah. Just, you know what they say? You know, you, you can't really put any more damage to a piece of trash, right? <laughs> Uh, you so know what? It'll I be think fine. that piece trash fine. is gonna go home and. No, uh, I'm just messing. Yeah. I'm just messing, Jake. I'm just messing. <laughs> but uh, but let's get the international back here and let's uh, let's get her backed up. There we go. Am I gonna be able to get this past your your truck? Okay, Jake. Let's see what that little international can do. Just slowly come up. Just put it in first gear. Am I gonna be able to get past your truck though? <sighs> Shoot. Okay, let me tr my truck's sliding. Let me. This is gonna be sketchy, Jake. I gotta jump in my truck and just scooch it to the side a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. Hold on tight there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, shoot. come on. Come on. Oh gosh, Jake, 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 Jake. Oh. Oh. No. <sighs> That's my fault. That's my bad. No, it's your good. It's my fault. It's my fault. I luckily I made it out there safe. If you just want to pull her through, just drag the pickup truck by now. If it, if you can pull her through, just pull her straight through there. She's got a flatbed. She's built Chevy tough. It's all good. Okay, that's my bad. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh gosh, keep going. Just give her. Just give her. Gosh, dang, brand new grain car. Give her. There you go. I'm just disconnecting this here. Yeah, yeah. If we just want to drop it here, let me just get the jack down. Yep. There we go. She's disconnected. I just want to get this seat home. I'm not going to call it the tow truck. Do you think you could come and pull from. You'd almost have to. Jake, you'd almost have to come and, like, pull up the hill. And I think we could get this flipped on its side. Um, just be careful with the tractor, though. That's my only issue. I'd love to call a tow truck. I just don't want to pay that money. Yeah, we can. We'll give it a try here. We'll okay. See if we can get it. Okay. If you just want to pull through, I'll get you connected to the back of here. All right. Truck's still running. When Doug says built like a rock, he means built like a rock. Okay, Jake, I got you hooked up. All right. Pull. You ready? Just I, pull her. I just pull her. Pull her a little I would bit. I stand clear. Yep. Come on, baby. Keep giving her. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. She's flipped. Ooh. No, no, no tractor. Okay, okay. No, no tractor. Jake, Jake, hold on. Let me disconnect her. Yep. There you go. Pull on forward. Oh, shoot, dude. We got her. High five. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, I, but I gotta get in this truck and drive it out before it flips over again. I'll be right back. Yeah. Can you guide me down here? Yep. Yeah. You go. Nice and easy. Keep her straight. You're good. You're not gonna tip. Yep, just pull right up out into the flatland. There you go. The only What's thing the is that mirror, that mirror is toast. That left yeah. mirror is just toast. And it got scratches all down the side. That's what a farm truck's for right there. Yeah, if you'll free to, to send me a bill on that, that's my bad. No, 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 I you're know. good. That was my fault. That was my fault. You're doing everything you could to help me. Quick question. You got another smoke right there? Yeah, here. Here you yeah. go. In fact, you want the pack? You can have the pack. I, I, don't, I just about need the whole pack. That was a gosh dang oh. Reagan pull right there. Nice job, Jake. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Well, I'm going to get head home. I appreciate the pull. Yeah, no problem. You ever need anything, just stop by. Let me know. No, sir. If you ever need anything, let me know. You just saved me through here. We'll see you later. All right, see ya. Chevy's a little bent up. but She's still chugging. But, uh, man, that was insane. Now, I am not going to take that chance again and pull that green car home. So right now... All we got is we just got all the weight of the seat in the back. And I'm going to be honest, I was kind of an idiot loading it so high up here. Like, we stack that seat so high. Well, I'll tell you what. These ratchet straps, they're the, some of the best gosh dang ratchet straps I've ever seen. We made it.
We're home. But one thing I didn't really think about is how to get those down there because they had a pretty tall forklift to load those up. But we got to get the 44, 4450 fired up and we got to get planted. So like literally here, let me pull up my, uh, my paper map here. So right here, if you can see my finger. So this is the farm field 15 and then here's field 16. Everything else is planted here besides field 16. We just got done cultivating that. That's the last field we got to do, and we are done. Like, we are absolutely done. But all I got to do is top off these boxes, and we're good to go to drop beans in the ground, and then we'll be officially done planting. Besides, little Johnny is tucked away back here, so we got to get out 4440, make room. Right now, I feel like we just have, we have so much equipment. This is insane. I don't know. I got to get rid of equipment or something. Definitely this combine, I need to actually... We need to get this combine back here. I need to move up one of those tractors. We still gotta grab that grain cart. There's, oh gosh darn it, there's a lot to do. I'm gonna jump with little Johnny. Get him fired up. Then we'll, we'll lift him up, pull forward. And then I'm gonna jump on top of here, start, start dropping in bags, and we should be good to go. The planter is full. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's get planting, boys. Now, one thing we got to do yet is go grab that grain cart, and I've been putting it off. I told Jake I'd be back in like two hours, but at this point, just in case it rains today, I want to get in the field. It'll take me probably 45 minutes to get the rest of these beans planted, like nothing. So I want to get this done before we go pick up that grain cart. Let's shift up. There we go. And then we got to do a little equipment shuffle, because that combine has to go in the back storage there. That uh, Those gravity wagons, I got to separate, get back there, watch. I was thinking about pulling down a deer to get, if you guys remember, I was talking about this earlier, but if you guys remember one of those, uh, those balls that attach, the hitches that attach to the front of the skid steer so you can move equipment around. Yeah, there's a custom welding shop making those. So I was going to go pick one of those up. Those would be nice. I could use a little Johnny, move all those, move, uh, move all the, uh, tillage equipment and the gravity wagons around. That's what I was thinking. And also we got to get that gosh dang bid put up. Corn looks like it's coming in good there. It's all solid. Farm could be profitable this year. We'll see. So that field right over there is what we have left. It looks like there's some weeds growing through there. It was about a week ago I cultivated it. By the way, guys, so this is Fred's farm. But he doesn't actually farm the ground around here. He just owns the buildings. And I think it was it was pretty much like a family split, you know, where the grandpa died or the dad died. And then he had some sisters that wanted to sell off this ground here, which I bought. And then he ended up keeping the buildings for his farm equipment, but he doesn't end up farming this. It was kind of weird how it all worked out. Okay, this is the road we got to take down here. But Fred's a good guy. I know him. He's a good guy. He lets me go through his property sometimes if we have to. So, it's all good. Here we are. Oh, who the heck is Is that Fred? That must be Fred back there. It must be Fred. Now, let's get out. Oh, it's awesome. Austin. Awesome. Grant, how's it going, bud? Good. How are you? How are you, man? Oh, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Still got a broken arm, you know? Got in a crash the other day. Really? What yeah. happened? What happened? Uh, so basically, I don't know. Apparently, the gas or something in my motor, the gas basically stuck. A quarter so of the throttle totally. cable. The classic. Probably. We better put you to work, boy. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. All right, what's the plan? Well, this is my last field I got to plant, but. Actually, I wasn't gonna do this until unless I had a tons of help But there's some ground right literally right on the other side of these buildings here That kind of goes right. way down through there that was gonna be in hay ground But I really I can find other parts to make hay and it's it's pretty good soils So I was thinking about just disking all that up and then planting some beans through there. Oh, beans. okay, cool But I need somebody to yeah. run a disc and then probably run that Oh, well, we could run the drill or actually I got beans in here I could just plant right after it so if you want to meet me here, just meet me back. Actually, I'm just going to run back to the farm. I'll run back to the farm and then drive your pickup truck back to the farm and I'll meet you there and we'll get the disc hooked up. All righty, that'll work. So this is what I was going to do because this is all like, this was all old pasture through here and I don't think it's ever been tilled up. But beans and corn are doing pretty good on price. It makes sense to come through here and at least just, not really in the shady areas, but at least down the middle, just diss this up. It is kind of hilly, though. we got to be careful. Hey, Austin, you want to smoke? Yeah, sure. Not in the 4955. 
Well, you either got the choice of using the Massey 4900 or the 4955. I figured... Uh, I'll take the 4955. I was going to say, I figured you'd want to use the 4955. Heck, I, I really want to use it, but... Here we go. <laughs> Let me get her fired up. She's got weights on the inside of the duels, weights on the outside. We got weights on the Man. front. This thing is going to have no problem. We got weights thing. galore. Jump in there. You know how runner sh power shift? Yep. Okay. Jump in there. Get her fired up. Oh, man. Sounding good. What's that? Sounds good. Okay. There you go. He's got her in gear. Dang. Hopefully you can fit out here. Yep. Will fit? No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. You, Austin, you, you got to come back to your left. Come back a little to your left. Those duels are a little tough. If you can. Keep coming. Yep, yep. We're good, actually. Never mind. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. There we go. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pull forward a foot. Keep going. Keep going. Good, good, good. Let me lower this down. There we go. Go ahead and pull out. There he goes. So I'm going to go meet him out of that field, and then he's going to get discing that up. Okay, so I'm going to do just a lap to show you the border I want, because I cannot have it getting too close to that tree. So it'll just be yeah. a waste of seed if, sure. those, if, the, if that crop doesn't even get any sun. So... We'll drop her down, put her in gear, there we go, so I'm gonna, I really don't care about this outer edge, and in fact guys, I could probably just grow hay, or just bale some of this grass around this outer edge here, that'd probably work good, I just mainly want to take up this area through this middle part here, we'll crank her up, I don't want to go too fast though, this is unknown territory right now, 49.55, this is no problem. We'd probably be running this in 16th gear right now if we wanted to. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to plow around here and then just right, most likely right up here is where I'm going to turn around at. I don't want to get too close to these trees though. Got to be careful here. Now here's the more challenging part for the 4955. We're going to try pulling straight up this hill. I think it'll have no problem still. She pulls like an ease. Everything, everything to the right, I think I'm just going to leave as pasture. I could cut through there a little bit. I'm not too worried. Seven mile an hour. We're pulling that seven mile an hour here up here with 4955. This is about to test her. <laughs> Holy crap. With ease. There we go. We'll downshift here. Oh, she's sticking a little bit. She's getting a little rough. She pulls like a gosh dang ox, Austin. You're yeah, gonna have fun with her. Good. You're gonna have fun with her. Don't wreck her though. That's <laughs> I'll a try not fifty thousand dollar tractor. Bit today. All right, well, I'll get going with this. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Right. I really appreciate you helping me out. This is gonna. Yep, no problem. If you, hey, Austin, seriously, with all legit, if you need a, a smoke, a tractor, anything, just hit me up. I can help you out for oh, a little for bit. Sure. Look at the ox go. Drop her down. Just give her a heck. Look at that thing. What a beast. Oh, shoot. I left the tractor running. My gosh, dude. This will probably run for like 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to jump in her. And then we're going to get planting. I think I had everything set for soybeans. Going to drop her down. Drop her in the ground. Let's go. Now I'll drop that left marker down, but heck, I don't even know if I really need it here. I don't think it's going to matter. I'll tell you what, this would get a little sketchy coming through here, especially with the accident I just had with the truck. Oh my gosh, if I put the tractor in here, my gosh, somebody never let me farm again. Take away my permit to farm. Well, we got the first pass, is up. pass done. Now I'm on the second pass. Things are going smooth. And the last we have to do is just right here and then do one more pass down there. But pretty much everything we've got planned through here. It honestly didn't take long at all. Well, shoot. Looks like Austin might be done. We'll get out and talk to him here. You done, Austin? Yep. Okay. She's done. Okay, well, I guess I just got to go through there and plant it then. 
Yeah, I think so. Didn't you want to cultivate it first? Yeah, I probably should. I wasn't sure if I... I'd probably be smart to run that cultivator through there. Is it pretty thick? I think so. Pretty thick clods yeah. there? Yeah, okay. it's pretty, pretty thick. Let's run that cultivator through there then. Do you want Alrighty. to... Heck, we could just hook it up to the 4955 again. Yeah, we could. Okay, I'll meet you right back at the farm because I got to top off with some seed. Yeah, too. All right, perfect. Okay. All right. We should be... We're good. Perfect. We'll lift her up. We are good to go. I might as well just fold her up. Planter is dirty. Gosh, dang it. I'm feeding all the birds. Gosh, dang socialists. You're probably looking for that cultivator, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's in here. It's in the back here. Oh, it's I a disc, but I got the, the, the end. Keep coming. Keep coming. Coming. Good. Good. Okay, she's her? hooked up. Pull her out. Alrighty. And he's off. The cultivator. Heck, you know what? While that tractor is out of here, I'm going to fire up the 8820 and back it in here. Because this thing is just taking up all the shop space. And it should be over, like, way tucked back here where we don't need it for a little bit yet. So I'm going to see if I can't fit it through there. Jump in her. Start her up. Oh, I love the sound. The old 8820. The only thing is we may have to move the old Massey to get her through here. Because it might be... Ah, we'll probably be able to make it. I don't think we'd fit through here. I think I'm going to have to come around, slice in here, and then park it back there. We'll lift her up. I think it's this button. There we go. Now, the 8820 is hydraulic driven, so there's really, it's not like a tractor where there's like tons of gears, so it's kind of, it's kind of nice when you're combining, especially when you're trying to get around corners, you got to put it in reverse quick and then go forward. It's real nice. So I think what I'm going to try to do is back her in here. It's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tight, but I think I got to come in at this angle. Just drive across the grass for now. Oh, shoot. Is it going to fit? Oh, gosh. Huh. You should probably think about that when you spend that much money on a gosh dang combine. That's not going to fit back here. Shoot. Darn. So the only place it's going to fit is in here or... I mean, I hate putting it... I could put the combine in here. Ah, shoot. You know what? This wouldn't be bad. Back here. I don't know if I want to leave the combine back here, though. Okay, for now, she's going back in the shop. We'll just tuck her in the corner as far as possible. Try to keep her out of the way. But, man. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's not going to fit at all. Okay, well, shoot. This isn't going to work out too good. Well, that's all I can do for now. I think we can put a tractor in front of it and maybe a tractor to the side of it. I had to toss a little Johnny over the side here, but that's all good. We'll fire up the 4440 and just move it over. I think for now, we'll put this tractor right in front of it. We need to take off the duel sometime. I really need to because we got so many other field tractors at this moment. Oh. Should be good. Whatever you. I should go check in on Austin, see how he's doing. I think I'm just going to take his truck down there. Since he'll need his truck. Jump in the old Chevy. This thing has a little bit of power to her. She has a little get up and go. Yep. There he is. He's a going. Oh, is he done? He's just about. So it looks like he's got one more pass through here. Or maybe, okay, he maybe has two more passes through here. And then he's good to go. And then, heck, I could probably start getting that planter. We could probably start planting those beans right now. Got your truck a little dirty, my bad. Yeah, I was just going to say, get my truck dirty, what the heck, bud? <laughs> it's a farm truck. She likes it that way. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's she true. likes her dirty. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, you got what, two more passes here? Yeah, a little bit. I can finish up if you want. Yeah, I better go check on my cousin here. He's probably in the lake, a uh, tractor deep, so. Okay. Give me old Reagan handshake here. Thanks for helping me out, Austin. No problem, bud. Appreciate it, man. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. All we got is two more passes here. Little Jimmy doesn't want to be friends. And then, uh, also, just got to get her planted. That's pretty much it. And then we are done for the spring. Everything's rolling good. We may make a tad profit this year, which is awesome. But if you guys enjoyed the video, well, smash that like button. And hey, as always, seriously, guys, thanks for watching. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.